Hi guys, Mama Homestead here. I wanted to do a quick video on my 2013 Diamond Infinite Edge Bow by Bowtech. I'm here today to explain to you a female's perspective on the bow, and I'm also here to um, challenge you to try this bow out. I'm not saying go buy it. What I am saying is go to your local sporting goods store and actually give it a try before you um, come up with an opinion about this bow. Um, the Diamond Infinite Edge was ranked 4.7 out of 5 stars on Bass Pro Shop's website and it was rated 4.3 out of 5 stars on Amazon. So don't take it just from me, look at the reviews online. They are all positive. This bow is wonderful for a wide range of people. It comes with a three pin apex sight, a hostage XL arrow rest. It comes with an octane deadlock light quiver, a tube peep sight, Now let's get to the specs of this bow. This is where you're really gonna be impressed. It only weighs 3.1 pounds, and compared to some of the top line bows averaging four pounds or more, that's pretty damn good. So, can't knock it there. Um, it has an adjustable draw length of 13 inches to 30 inches. Yes, 13 inches to 30 inches. Um, the adjustable draw weight is from 5 pounds to 70 pounds. It has the capability of reaching 310 feet per second. And I say capability because obviously the more um, draw weight and longer draw length that you have, the farther it's going to go. It has 40, or I'm sorry, it has 74.7 foot pounds of kinetic energy at impact. So you will be pretty confident in your kills. Um, as long as you're accurate. And last but not least, it has 75% let off at full draw. You're able to hold your draw longer and wait for that perfect shot if you have to. Okay, so now let's talk about what makes the bow stand out from the rest. Um, the Diamond Infinite Edge has an infinite draw setting. And that allows for multiple people to use the same bow without having to have a press or do any adjustments to, to the um, draw length. So think of like a traditional bow, when you pull back, you should feel no sponginess. You kind of, you hit that back wall. Uh, the infinite setting, it takes a little getting used to because you have to know where your anchor point is. Um, and there is a little bit of give in it. So as long as you know your anchor points, you'll be fine. Um, there is no back wall, so to speak, on the infinite setting. But this makes it so versatile that it's wonderful for training groups, um, beginners, beginner, um, you know, hunters, beginner hobbyists, um, and then also bow fishers. It's perfect for bow fishing as well. So keep that in mind. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my personal opinion on my bow. Okay, so this is my 2013 Infinite Edge, as you can see here. It is a wonderful bow. Um, when I had purchased this bow, I got it new for um, $225. And the reason I got it so cheap is because it was missing a lot of its components. It did not have the stabilizer on, on it, so this was not here. Um, it did not have the peep sight. The peep sight was not there. It did not have the string silencers on it. it and it, you know, honestly, even without these string silencers on it, it is a very quiet bow. Um, it did not have the level inside my sight, and I think that was about it. So what happened was when the store had received this bow, 
they lost the peep sight and the um, the stabilizer, you know, all the, the small accessories that you get with it, they actually misplaced that. So they were just selling the bow by itself. So I got it at a big discount and I knew that those were things that I was going to want to um, replace down the road anyways. So um, again, this is a really good bow. The positives are it has maximum adjustability. The adjustability on this bow is absolutely amazing. Not only can you, the limb bolts here, that's how you adjust the draw weight. And then on the back of the cam, you'll see the A, B, and C. And then this back here is how you adjust the draw length. So, and again, it just takes Allen wrenches and that's it. So I can adjust my draw length and my draw weight without needing my husband's help and without needing a bow press. Diamond Infinite Edge, guys. This thing freaking rocks. This bow is super, super lightweight. It is only 3.1 pounds. So, I mean, when you're out in the field and you've got to hold your bow forever in a day because you're waiting for that one perfect shot or you're waiting for the deer to quarter, you know this bow's light enough for you to be able to hold it as long as you need to. And then also with the 75% let off at full draw, you're able to hold it even longer if need be. Another positive is this bow has the dual cams. Now, I'll sh let me show you. This is a cam. This whole thing here, this is a cam. Another positive about this bow is the fact that, like I had said before, it's very quiet even without the string silencers. So when I got this bow, my husband actually shot it and you know, he's got an older Hoyt bow, which is a little bit louder, um, and when he shot this, he was shocked at how quiet this is. The draw's quiet, um, the let-off's quiet, it's just, oh god, I can't even explain it to you. You've got to go shoot this bow. Even if you don't buy it, just go shoot it. It's so much fun. Okay, so now I'm going to get to the negatives about this bow, and there's not a lot of them. Um, the first negative is that the actual grip itself is really small, and I don't have very big hands. I've got long fingers, but I don't have very big hands, so I imagine for a male who is bigger in stature, it's going to be really small. Um, I mean, you can see... When I put it in my hand, how small it really is. It's not very wide. Um, it's not a very comfortable grip. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel that the grip itself is too small. Um, another negative about the diamond bow is that it has a short um, axle to axle measurement. Um, which takes some getting used to. I think because this is only, what I say, 31 inches from axle to axle, that it almost feels like a toy when you're first um, shooting with it. But once you fire it, you realize this is no toy. And the last negative is that it could use some upgrades. Now, the upgrades that I would recommend for this bow would be a better sight. I would either go with a single pin sight or at least get one that has a level. The reason I recommend a single pin sight, um, that's just personal preference for me. You can, like I said, upgrade the sight to one that just has a level in it. But what we did, because again, I don't have the funds yet to go out and buy an actual sight for my bow, is we glued the crap out of a little tiny um, liquid level you know, like the line levels, we actually broke one open and took the level out of it. And then we just glued it to the inside of my, um, to the inside of my sight. Use your brain. You don't have to go spend a buttload of money to make something work. I would also replace the whisker biscuit with a drop away rest. You can see the whisker biscuit that comes with it. So I would definitely replace that to a drop away rest. Um, I would also replace the quiver. 
Now, I did some adjustments to this quiver because I didn't have the funds to go buy a new one. Originally, this little bracket here that holds your arrows, it has two of them. So you'll have one in the center and one down here at the bottom. And it is so, so difficult to get your arrows out of your quiver with both of those on there. So I took the center one off and left this bottom one. So now I just have the one that the arrows snap into and still, it's still hard to get my arrows out of it, but not as hard as when I had the two brackets on there. So that's something that I'm gonna look into replacing is the quiver as well. And that's the last thing you want when you're hunting is to make a lot of noise trying to get your arrows out of your quiver and scare away your game. To wrap it up, basically, I highly recommend this bow to every hunter or hobbyist. This is a great bow. Don't take my word for it. Go to your local sporting goods store. Try it out. You're going to love it. I promise you, you are going to love it. The one thing you may not be able to get past is the size because, again, axle to axle, it is really small. This is going to sound really bad, guys, and I'm sorry, but it's not always about the size. It's about the performance. So this bow has outperformed. It's gone above and beyond what I expected for the price. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanna put that out there right now. I'm strictly giving my personal opinion about my 2013 Diamond Infinite Edge bow by Bowtech. I know that sounds like an advertisement, but it's not. I would love to hear some of your comments about what type of bow you have. Um, what are some things that you like or dislike about it and why? I want to thank you guys so much for sticking through this video um, and hanging out with me. Please, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe. Love you guys. Mwah.